Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Really interesting brain test today. We need to find the last number in these in these boxes. We have two, five, seven, and we need to find the last number in these boxes. Right here on the right hand side, we have a lot of options. We have A, B, C, and D, a lot of numbers. So right now I suggest you to, to pause the video and try to solve it by yourself. It will be more interesting. Of course, for me, it will be more interesting if you solve it. And if you, if you write your suggestion, your option, maybe you find another pattern between all these numbers, it will be more interesting for you. And of course, for me, we will check our our answer. So we have two, five, seven, and we need to find the last number. What can we start with? So take a look right here. We have two, five, seven. So let's work with, with this number. We have two, five, seven. So two, five, and right here we have seven, and we need to find the last number. I hope you see right now that 257 is a really good number because in math there is a, a prime numbers. So we hope you understand with this. So prime numbers, we have two, the next one is three, the next one is five, seven, the next prime number will be 11. So what is this prime number about? We can divide all these prime numbers by itself and by one. So right here, two can be divided by, two can be divided by, by two and two can be divided by by one and only. Right here, this three can be divided, three can be divided by three and by one only. And right here with the five and seven, this is one, this is this case. So this is prime, prime numbers, prime numbers. This is prime numbers, but what this prime numbers tell us? Take a look, right here we have two, five, seven, but we don't have three right here. We don't have three. This is not like a prime number order. And take a look, maybe we'll have three. We don't have three. So right here, prime number, it's not good idea to work with prime numbers. But why this uh, approach is good for us? Because if you're talking about prime numbers, right here we have 11 and the next one will be 13. So 11 and 13 we reject as well. If we have this option, of course. We reject, of course, as you can see, 11 and 13, we reject it. So we are going to solve it with two options. We have four and nine. And right now we're going to, to find an option. We have four and nine. I write these both cases. So if we have two, five, seven, and of course right here, I told it was, it was four right here. And right here we have two, five, seven, and nine. So one of that one of each approach is is correct. So let's find this approach. I want to start with with this case. So right here, if we work with this nine, nine is not good number because nine can be divided by seven. Can we can divide this nine by five and of course by two. So nine is it's not good number. But if we look closely to this first case, if we look closely we have right here in this in this way we have even numbers so even and right here in this way so seven at five is odd numbers so it looks like this pattern is about parity even or odd number because if it looks like here in the same way we have seven and five is odd number which is the same as right here so odd but with this one we cannot tell about these numbers as well because this is even this is this is odd number so one and only case this is my approach of course maybe you will find it in another way so my approach this number will be will be four so we have this option option a so i i think this is this number will be, will be equal to four but what about you maybe you find another pattern between all these numbers maybe you find the pattern between division and multiplication it will be really interesting and of course if you still have any question write a question in comment write a suggestion in comment if you want to support my channel please subscribe for more videos and put your thumbs up i really appreciate it it helps me a lot it inspires me a lot to make new videos every day i try to make every every day new video and of course this is the best support from you to me of course if you want to support my channel thank you so much for watching see you in the next videos